Hi, it's Richard from Original Outdoors, and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you something that, well, to be perfectly honest, you should already know. How to pass a knife safely from one human being to another. And like all safety skills, when I teach them on the courses and when I teach them on the videos and in the blogs, I try and get across the really important things, and that is the basic principles. So I'm not going to say you have to do it in exactly this method. I'm going to say you have to achieve this every single time. So there are three things that you need to achieve when passing a knife to another human being. The first is that you should only present the handle. The handle being this bit here, the bit that isn't the blade, funnily enough. So you should only present the handle to the other person. The second thing you need to achieve is that your fingers should be clear of the cutting edge and away from the point and so that if somebody snatches a knife out of your hand when you're passing it to them then you're not going to get a cut across the palm or across your fingertips or get wounded in any other way and that if they push into the blade whilst you're passing it to them it's not likely to come across and hurt your body either. The third thing you need to achieve is a connection with the person that's receiving the blade and I'll demonstrate that third bit in a moment but for the first two to achieve those first two principles, you need to reverse your grip on the knife. So you can either do that one-handed, like that, or you can do it with two hands, which, to be honest, is probably safer, like that. But they both get you to the same position, which is you're holding the knife either here at the very end of the handle, or even here on the blade, and presenting only the handle to the person that is going to receive the knife. I've also got my fingers and the rest of my hand tucked well away from this cutting edge here and this point. I've also tilted my wrist slightly so that that point isn't towards my, well, the inside of my wrist here where I've got these lovely veins and things that I really don't want to puncture, and the rest of the forearm, and away from the body as well. So I'd really have to contort myself to get in the way of this blade if somebody pushed into it. So those are the first two principles achieved. I'm presenting only the handle, and my fingers are clear of the blade. For the third part, the clear communication and the connection, I need a volunteer. So Amy is gonna step in front of the camera now, and I'm gonna grab the other little GoPro so you can get another angle on what's going on. I'm going to pass the knife to Amy using the method you've just seen me do, but I'm gonna add, add an extra thing in, which is I'm gonna say here, and then when Amy takes the knife, she's gonna say thank you. So it's gonna work like this. Would you like to borrow my knife? Yes. Here. Thank you. So obviously it's a bit cheesy and you wouldn't necessarily do it like that. And it, but it's not just about being polite. This is about showing that I have control of this potentially dangerous cutting tool. I am passing control over to Amy and then Amy saying that she now has control of it and I can retreat and take my hands out of the way. You need to make sure that you do something like this every time. And as I say, it's not about being polite, it's about building muscle memory. It's making sure that you do things in the correct way every time, so that the time you're not concentrating or you're a bit tired or you're being a bit lazy, you do it correctly and safely. You don't just only do something safely when you're paying attention, because you're going to be not paying attention one day very soon and you're going to get hurt or someone else is going to get hurt. So, to take the knife back, here. Thank you. And I have the knife again. And we can keep going back and forth all day like this, so... Here. Thank you. Here. Thank you. Get your own knife. So there, in one simple, quick combination of movements, I've achieved everything I need to, to pass a knife from one human being to another, and to do it safely every single time. So, reversing my grip, so that I'm only presenting the handle, holding it in a way so that my fingers and the rest of my hand are out of the way of the blade, and I'm saying something that means I'm communicating what I'm doing to Amy, and she knows then that she has control of it when she says her part. So, here. Thank you. Oh, there you go, that's as simple as that. Some people teach this method, which is to hold it like that with the blade and the handle presented. And so you, your fingers are out of the way. You're unlikely to get hurt with it. And if it's dropped, then it's just gonna go point down into the ground and hopefully avoid your feet. But I still really dislike this method because you're presenting 
the both the dangerous part and the safe part of the knife to somebody. And I don't like doing that because I don't think that achieves the the first part of the principles of passing a knife, which is only present the handle. That's it. Can I have my knife back? Here. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Go away. An even safer way of achieving that is if the sheath is available to you and it's not attached to your belt or tied to your body or a piece of kit in some way, then you put the knife in the sheath and just pass the knife with the sheath to the other person. And that way you're not really presenting a dangerous cutting tool, you're presenting a tube made of plastic and rubber that you can safely hand over to the, the other person. And the same thing goes for pocket knives and folding knives. So this is an Opinel folding locking blade, and I can pass this in the same way. I can reverse my grip and pass it so I'm presenting only the handle and keeping my fingers away from the blade, but it takes less than a second to put the blade away. I just pass it along to somebody like that and I can dangle it from the string or do whatever. But if it's a folding knife, I'll try and fold the blade away before I pass it, but if I'm not going to do that, I'll pass it exactly the same way as I would a fixed blade knife like that. And that's it. That's all there is to it. You want to make sure that you pass only the handle to the other person. You want to make sure that you keep your fingers and your body well away from the cutting edges of the blade and the point. And you want to make sure that you make a connection with the person receiving the blade so that they, you know the point when they have control of the knife and it's no longer your responsibility until it's time to have the knife returned to you. And maybe the real answer is that everyone should just carry their own knife. But yeah, that's one for debate. Thank you for watching this video. If you like what we do, then like the video, subscribe to the channel, and have a look through the other content we have on here. We're adding more stuff on. But if you just want to go ahead and watch the next video, well, that's fine too. Whatever you're going to do next, do it safely, and thank you for watching.